what up guys back with another video now in this video i will be showing you guys how to go ahead and make an extra thousand to five hundred dollars a day offering services to small business owners in small towns or cities now i'm about to go ahead and go through this presentation you want to go ahead and scrape cities now we're going to be scraping business owners um you got to remember these business owners they have websites these are small business owners by the way you know these small business owners are not tech savvy you know they don't know anything about checkouts they don't know anything about upsell having a great introduction video having great copy having great benefits and this is where you will come in and you will offer them those services this is a great side gig you know you can do this um, every single day you can you know add an extra ten thousand five hundred dollars or you know however much you want to go hard at this you can add a lot more side income to this that you can use in other assets with igleads.io on the smallest plan you can scrape around ten thousand emails a month just think about that man just take a moment think about that Think about having 10,000 small business owners that you can reach out to with a cold email book calls. Imagine how much money um, you can make just off of 10,000 emails. My favorite service is to use GMAS. You can use other cold email platforms. Um, you don't have to use the ones I'm recommending. I get no affiliate sales off this, but GMAS is probably one of my favorite because it's very simple to set up. You will need a business email. Uh, I wouldn't use it off a of personal email, gmail at gmail.com. I would use a domain email dot com or you know dot io something like that you want to make sure you use those type of emails and we're going to be using chat gpt to write the code email if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what chat gpt is it can basically write you code email you can basically use the code outreach to people you can ask it to write headlines you can ask it to write a full paragraph and if you don't like it you can just talk to it like a human man just be like i don't like this this sounds cheesy i need you to rewrite this and you can use Calendly to go ahead and book calls this is just an extra step you don't have to do this but a lot of people they want to know who they're talking to. i know a lot of people are like yo i don't know how to you know do website designs i don't know anything about that look you don't have to do it i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a cool way that you can go ahead and do it. go to fiverr.com go to website builder and we got a lot of people that will build a website in under 24 hours to 48 hours i think you should charge these business owner a flat fee of a thousand you can go lower you can go higher but i recommend at least a thousand dollars you can take that thousand dollars take 250 out that thousand dollars and you can go ahead and just pay a really good top seller on fiverr.com they'll deliver you the website within 24 to 48 hours now if the customer needs you know the business owner they need revisions you can go ahead and go back to fiverr you can do that as well so you don't need to know how to do websites to do it now we're going to go ahead and go to igleads.io of course this is the best lead generation software on the planet um, you can scrape almost every city you can scrape almost every state you can find all types of business owners so for this example we will be using facebook just because all most all small business owners have a facebook man so we're going to go ahead and use that now like i said we're going to go ahead and start targeting nashville coffee shops so that's what i'm going to go ahead and put now i'm going to go ahead and ask for 101 emails because i want to make this quick and simple but of course if you are on a paid plan Go ahead and ask for for 1,000 to 5,000 emails and it can go ahead and deliver you to that. Okay, so I went ahead and refreshed the dashboard. You wanna go through each and every link on here and see uh, what type of websites they have so you can get a good feeling of you know how much they don't know about websites. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the first example. Um, looks like Garage Coffee Shop Nashville. And as you can see, they're not posting a lot. So let's go ahead and check out their, um, let's go ahead and check out their website. Now, if we go to the website, as you can see, they don't have a they don't only have a home page. Um, you know, it seems like every link is just a blog post. Um, so this is where you can go to actually loom.com and go ahead and record this. Um, you can go ahead and record this. You can add some commentary in the background and be like, look, um, <laughs> you don't even have a home page, man. You need a home page. You need a headline. You need an introduction video. Um, I need you to go ahead and make a video of yourself explaining your mission with coffee, um, with garage coffee and um, go ahead and add some stuff that people can actually order online or they can see before they come in what you guys have to offer. Um, it seems like you guys, you know, and you have a, you, and you have a lot of blog posts. So try to make a different section for blog posts. Um, and let's remove the, go ahead and remove the default template. You're missing a lot of sales on the table. Go ahead and book a call with me so we can go ahead and get your sales up. So you can go ahead and record a video like that. If you can record a video like that, they will be extremely happy and they'll be more than likely to hop on a call with you. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to um, Google Sheets and we're gonna go ahead and upload that CSV file so we can import it into GMAS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm about to go to Google Sheets. 
Now I'm about to go ahead and import that. We're gonna go ahead and import that CSV file we got from igleads.io. Now, once we import that, all we need is the name and email. So I'm about to go ahead and delete everything that's not the name and email. So as you can see, I went ahead and deleted everything that's not the name and email, and I went ahead and named it something that I can easily identify. So now, we're about to go to GMAS. You wanna make sure you get the extension. I already have something typed out right here. I'm about to show you guys how I actually got this whole paragraph typed out. We use ChatGPT to go ahead and recreate this, of course. Now, I'm about to go ahead and show you guys how I talk to it like a human and how it gave me a subject line and an email that I can go ahead and send a bulk email to all our coffee shop owners. I am reaching out to a small coffee shop owners to try to fix their websites for free. Can you write me a cold outreach email explaining how important it is to have a good looking website in 2023 and to book a call so we can talk further? So I went ahead, it gave me a whole subject line and it gave me a whole body paragraph to go ahead and copy and paste. If you don't like it, just, just say, please rewrite this. And then we'll write you a whole new subject line and then we'll write you a whole new paragraph. So all you have to do is just copy and paste that into the subject. And all you have to do is copy and paste that into the body. But of course, what you want to do first is you want to make sure that you import that CSV file from Google Sheets. So what you want to do is go over here to two and we're going to go ahead and click this and we're going to go from Google Sheets. So now let's go ahead and click on Nashville Coffee Shop. Remember, this is the file that we did earlier where we only have the name and email. So now what you want to do is go ahead and connect the spreadsheet. And as you can see, you will have all your recipients right here. Like I said earlier, you want to make sure that you have a business domain, something with .io, Dot com. You don't really want to do at Gmail because you won't be able to send that much emails out. So make sure you do get some type of um, domain email that you can go ahead and start sending code emails to. And of course, right here, you want to make sure that you actually have their first name. And remember, this is where we got the name right here. So you want to make sure you go ahead and click on this little um, button right next to GMAS and you want to go to personalize. You want to click name and it automatically copies that to the keyboard to where you can go ahead and copy and paste that name. And of course, you want to go ahead and edit this a little bit. So as you can see right here, um, right on the second sentence, I went ahead and said, can you check out this recording I made on your website and what we can improve on? And this is where you can paste that Loom link to where they can go ahead and check out that video. Now, if you want to go ahead and do it one by one, but most likely, obviously, you're not going to send somebody else's website to some other business owner. So this is just something that you can do um, after they book a call with you or, you know, you can do it one by one. You can go through here one by one and send it out. But I recommend doing cold email blast and you just want to go ahead and pretty much just make sure to get on a call with you and then you can go ahead and show them one by one. Or you can be like, hey, I have a video recording here for you. And then that's where you can look up that email and you can pretty much go to their website and you can go ahead and make a recording. Now, that's all you have to do. Now, think about how much money you can make if you can actually send this out to business owners with websites needed. Like I said, you don't need to learn how to make the website. Just go to Fiverr and they can make it for you. And then you can go ahead and send that code email to a bunch of small business owners. But other than that, thank you for checking out this video. I'm out.